Alien Open ocean doors. Stand by. Deploy Barracuda 01. Barracuda 01 launched. Maintain radio contact. Episode 1 of New Recruits Tend to Drown a Lot. My name is Ranger 6, and I will be your host for this Let's Play. In this episode, I will be highlighting certain flaws on the initial base, both in its construction and how it has been supplied, as well as my approach to fixing these problems. Welcome to Nautilus Space, ladies and gentlemen. As you are no doubt aware, this facility has four separate entry points, three submarine pens, one, two, three as well as the main airlock here. As you know, the computer is a cheating bastard and will do everything in its power to exploit the base's flawed design. Now, while a supremely skilled or supremely lucky commander might be able to defend this base in its current configuration, it's much more likely that any defensive force will be split in half by attackers which will enter from the north, from the subpen and the airlock. Thus, the separated elements of the defense force can then be crushed easily by pincer movements from the southwest, thus, and the southeast, thus. In order to keep that from happening, we will construct new submarine pens in the northwest and northeast. Thus, and thus. In addition, we will build some living quarters between the southern submarine pens, thus, and thus. Once the new facilities are ready, the existing ones will be dismantled, and the base's new configuration will allow any commander to establish a solid defensive position south of the main airlock here, thus forcing any attacking aliens into what will most likely be a murderous crossfire. Now, on to the supplies starting with what's loaded onto the Triton. I'm going to dispose of the dark guns because, frankly, the only way you're going to kill anything with them is if you're extremely lucky. So, off they go, to be replaced by jet harpoons, thus, and gas cannons, thus. Now, onto the first Barracuda. Here, we will swap the Ajax torpedo launcher for a depleted uranium pellet head launcher, which has both greater range and greater damage. Next stop, General Stores. Where, in addition to the dart pistols, I'll be getting rid of the hydrojet cannons and the torpedo launchers. Now, there is a reason for why I'm ditching those two weapons. You see, I'm of the opinion that flexibility is key when it comes to XCOM's response, which means the best equipment is equipment that can be used both underwater and on surface, mis surface missions while providing sufficiently lethal force. Since the hydrogen cannon and the torpedo launcher only work underwater, they don't fit the flexibility criterion, so away they go. Now, since we don't need the extra Ajax torpedo launchers or the gas cannons, we can get rid of those as well. There, we've freed up some space in the storage facilities. Not much, I grant you, but enough that we can store a few extra weapons and some ammunition. So, let's get some more jet harpoons. Some harpoon pods. Couple more gas cannons. 
and some gas cannon ammunition. Now, I also like to have a full complement of aquanauts, at least until I have the storage space to support a coelacanth. Speaking of which, I'd advise against purchasing the Aquajet coelacanth. While it is this game's version of the rocket launcher tank from UFO Enemy Unknown, its weapons only work underwater, which means it will be pretty much useless when it comes to land-based missions. So, let's requisition a few more Aquanauts. Leave the base administration screen. And now, we wait. We wait for our requisitions to be filled, and we wait for the aliens to make their presence known. Okay, the first batch of supplies has arrived. And so have our six new Aquanauts. Time to go back into the base and assign them to the Triton. Do the trick for now. Now, let's go rename our Aquanauts. Valentino Z. Aso G33N Espada V8 Sembragall Hayden Blackhawk Jodo El Pinchazo Lynx Darkwind Mercutio Midas John Egbert Dave Strider I said Strider, not Strider A and Tavish De Groot. done here. So, back to the geoscape again. Where we wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and 
wait. And wait. Ah! An alien submarine has been detected. Time to get some barracudas out to intercept it. Barracuda 1, you are clear to engage. Hmm, small one. Should be pretty easy to shoot down, providing it doesn't run away on us. Aggressive attack, Tor Barracuda 1. Torpedoes away! Back. And it's getting away. I think we better launch the second Barracuda to help with the interception. Yeah, Barracuda wants to close with it again. Maybe it'll have better luck this time. chance to get a shot off. And we close again. Okay, screw this for a game of toy soldiers. Barracuda 1, disengage. Maybe Barracuda 2 will have better luck. Ah, Barracuda 2 has forced it to land. Let's get the Triton out for an interception. And that's it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to tune in next time when XCOM and the aliens go head-to-head. -head.